How's it going, everyone? ND Sean 45 coming at you. Now, first things first. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much sums up the game yesterday. I don't even know why I just did that. I'm not even Catholic. Kind of ironic, isn't it, that I cheer for Notre Dame and I'm not Catholic? Well, here's the thing. Notre Dame is my team, and they'll always be my team till the day I die. But the funny thing is, I was actually brought up Lutheran, believe it or not. I don't think I've ever disclosed that to you guys before. I was brought up Lutheran, but how, however, my dad's side of the family is Catholic, so I think I get a little bit of a pass there. But anyway, as far uh, as, as this recap video goes, there's really not much to it, because really, what, can, what all can you say about the game yesterday? We got damn lucky to come out of South Bend with a victory yesterday. Pittsburgh had our number, and, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to just, you know, take back what I said in my preview. I really thought that we should have had no problem at all taking care of Pittsburgh, but I was wrong. You know, they had our number yesterday, and they almost beat us. And there were so many times in that game yesterday that they should have beat us. That we, you know, we should have lost that game. And really... <laughs> That's all you can say about the game yesterday. I mean, on top of that, our performance, I'm not going to brag about or gloat about because it was overall as a team, it was horrible, with the exception of the last nine minutes of regulation and overtime. But we just we had a lot of trouble getting anything going in the, in the first three quarters. We made a lot of silly mistakes. We had a couple of crucial turnovers that really came back to bite us in the butt at times. And, you know... Just thankfully, we, we were able to pull it out and, you know, figure something out at the end to force overtime and eventually get, come, uh, come away with the victory. But, you know, I can't be too angry because we did get the win nonetheless, and we're 9-0 and for the first time in almost 20 years, and I'm happy about that. I really am, but it, it, it's just at the same time, you can't help but be a little discouraged with, uh, you know, the, the, steps, the few steps that we took backwards yesterday. I mean... It's, uh, you know, this is, in the back of my mind, I mean, I was pretty confident in my preview, and I, and I stand by what I said in the preview, because that what when I said that we should have, should have had no problem taking care of Pitt, I meant it. But we did not uh, live up to our true form yesterday. We were sloppy. We were, we were just uh, uh, many steps back at times in that game yesterday, and it almost cost us. I mean, really... You know, the old, as the old saying goes, football is a game of inches. Well, anyone who saw Pittsburgh's uh, field goal attempt in that second overtime knows what I'm talking about. That didn't miss by much. So, really, all I can say is that we should be on our knees praying, praying to God above that we came out of there with a win yesterday and thanking our lucky stars for that. Because <laughs> we should have lost it, to be honest with you guys. But thankfully we didn't. Now, I'm not trying to be all negative here, because there, there were definitely some positives in this game. And the one positive being is, despite everything that happened yesterday, that this team did not give up, they didn't quit, and they stuck around and they found a way to pull out the win. You know, they, they overcame adversity, they, you know, they, this team does not know what quit means. They, they don't know what it means to give up, and for that part, I am proud of them. You know, to stick to when you're to face the odds when you're down, and you know when your backs are against the wall. I know this sounds like a cliche, but it's true. They did a phenomenal job keeping their composure and just you know sticking with it, and it paid off in the end. But now I, I know how a, a lot this game is going to look to a lot of you ND haters out there and the critics. They're going to it's going to be more of like oh another another close game with a a four and four team and and an unranked team on top of that. Oh Notre Dame is. You know, they're, they're not back. They're just barely getting by. I mean, come on, guys. That's, that's ridiculous. I mean, every, every elite team is going to have close games. We're not the only ones. It, and it, it's just a part of college football. It's going to happen from time to time. I mean, you know, when, really when you think about it, the, all these close games and these games that have gone in overtime, in recent years we would have lost them. But we're finding out ways to win them. So I see that as improvement, big time. You know, it, put it this way. I would rather have a close game with a 4-4 four four Pittsburgh team who is unranked than have a 60 to nothing win over a team like Youngstown State or, 
Tennessee Martin or or uh, Appalachian States or some any other Division One AA school. Put it that way. You know, I, I even said it in my preview. Pittsburgh is not a bad team. They had they have some talent on that team, and it showed yesterday. You know, Ray Graham's a good running back. Tino Sinceri's a good field general out on that field, on under center. And you know, what can I say? You, you get these games from time to time, but. I'll leave you guys with this. We have to find a way to get consistent because we cannot be doing this for the la these last three games because Wake Forest and Boston College even, and definitely USC, they'll make us pay for it. And we almost paid for it yesterday against Pittsburgh, so we have to clean up our game. If we, want, if we want to have a shot at that national championship game, we've got to clean it up. I mean, nine games into the season, we shouldn't be having the same problems that we've seen earlier on. They should be out of our system. So that part is kind of discouraging for me as a fan. So all I'm saying is clean it up, guys. You know, you're a better team than that. You left too many points out on the field. You shouldn't be making those silly mistakes like that. Because we could, like I said, numerous times already, we could have easily lost that game. We probably should have. But I'll take it. It's a victory. I'll take it. But we got to get better. So with that, guys, I will catch you later. And go Irish! 9-0, baby. Let's keep it rolling next week. We're not out of this yet.